Hi you guys, I hope everybody is doing well today. Today is October 19th of 2023 and I have another word that I'm going to share with you. It is another re-release that um, the Lord has brought up and wants me to share it again. And um, like yesterday, I was just, I, you know, he's told me recently he wants me to go back through my journal and he said, um, you'll know what to share when you read it or when you know and so so um i didn't even so what caught me with this word is just the time one two three four i received the word at one two three four p.m and so i thought well i'm gonna read this and i'd read a few prior even a couple that i read yesterday i was like do you want me to release one of those and then this one as soon as i started reading it i was like just the Holy Spirit was like, yep, that's the one. So here I am. I'm going to release this word. Hallelujah. And um, it is, um, it's a longer word. It's actually a three-part word. It's a three-day word. I, it, um, I received it in three different days. And so um, the, in the beginning of it, I literally had to shut it down because I thought I was in my own thoughts. I thought I was in my own head. And so um, I thought, you know, if, if I think that I'm in my own head and I'm writing and, and Holy Spirit is not, then I will literally close my journal and walk away. And that's what I do because it's just like, I will never say that these are words from the Lord if they are not from him. And so if I feel like I'm getting in my own head, I'll just, I will close my journal and say like, Lord, um, I don't know if it's you or me, but I just feel like I'm in my own head. And so I'll just have to go in prayer and, and sometimes I'll just walk away and just, and and I remember I, I actually watched the video of this one again. And that's how I know this stuff because I wouldn't know. <laughs> I, would have no, I would have no memory. But I watched the video and I, you know, you know how I do. I tell lots of stories. So I tell how I got this this word. And, um, and I apparently, yeah, I, so I closed it. And then... And then um, I came back to it and then my husband had come home. So then I had to stop again. And then the third day, apparently I was trembling. I even had it, have it written up here at the top, trembling in the presence of the Lord when the last part of this word came. So um, it was received um, January 19th of 2023 is when it started. And um, then I continued on the 21st and then it stopped and then continued and finished it on the 22nd of 2023. So January um, the beginning of this year. So um, I'm going to pray and I'm going to share this word with you guys. And it is a pretty powerful. Um, there's some stuff in here that may not be for you and it may be for you. And then, um, but the body as a whole needs to hear it. And even I was, you know, when I read it and everything, I was just like, wow. Okay. So, um, and I've seen this, I've actually seen it. And so, um, and it's still going on. And so the Lord wants me to share it again. So, um, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for another day to honor you and glorify you, Father God. Thank you for these words that you give to us. Um, just that you share your heart with us, Father God. Thank you for bringing them back to us when um, you want us to hear them again, when you want them to be released in the atmosphere again. Um, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just ask that you, that they will bless your people today, that they will... Um, that they will do all that you want them to do. Your words. They, they will do all that you want them to do in the name of Jesus. I ask, um, Father God, that you would just cover your people. I, I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of your people right now in Jesus' name. I ask for your peace, Father, to fill um, all of us full and um, that you would just pour out your spirit and your glory on your people today in Jesus' name. We love you. We honor you. and We glorify you. And um, we just... We thank you for today. In Jesus' name, we love you. Amen. Okay, so I'm just going to get to it because it is a long word. And um, and then there's some scriptures that, that I'm going to read as well. So um, he says, My children, I need you to hear and listen to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying this day. Yes, I want you to hear what is on my heart for this very day. Confusion and disorder is everywhere in the land. I see it everywhere. Um, really quick, my writing is really sloppy in parts of this because I was just, you know, writing really quick. Sometimes when I'm receiving a word, I'm just hearing and writing as fast as I can write. So 
Um, if I have a, a problem reading it, it's because of that. So just, um, just, just bear with me, please. Okay, so um, confusion and disorder is everywhere in the land. I see it everywhere, and this includes my body. Can you not see what the enemy is doing? For it is plain to see. He is, di he is dividing you. He is dividing you, causing strife amongst you. Do you know your adversary is sitting back laughing and mocking my body as you allow him to tear you apart? I'm telling you this must stop and it must stop now, says the Lord. Pull yourselves together and fight against him. You are my body, my church, and are commanded to love one another. This is the greatest command I have given you. So many of you are mocking and talking to one another against your brothers and sisters. I am watching all this take place, and I am disappointed. I am so disappointed, children. My word says, I am love. That's who I am. I am love. That's in bold. You have been given commands with the greatest one next to loving me is to love each other as you love yourself. It also says this is the that this is the greatest gift of the spirit. Why? For the for love never passes away. Never is in bold. You are not representing me as you are fighting ab about you are not representing me as you were fighting about who's right and who's wrong. There is none, sorry, there is none of that. There is none of that when you are living in love. For love is kind. It is not jealous nor boastful. It is gentle and patient. It endures many things. It is long suffering and sees the very best in others. It does not judge. It does not judge. Remember who is the judge. I am the judge over all the earth. My word says, judge not lest you be judged, says the Lord. So watch yourselves as you carry on, as you carry on in this nonsense. This is a time to come together as one body, my body, and join hands to fight this raging battle that is before you. Stop quarreling amongst yourselves and take your stand against the adversary. Lock arms and fight him, not each other. I am using many in my body right now in many different ways. I choose who and how I decide to use them. Do not box me up, children, as this is what and why you are stumbling on the trail. You think I am supposed to be one way and, you, and say things you only want to hear or think you should hear or think you should hear many of you hear what you want to hear and judge those who speak against what you have been taught and lied about for so long this is the enemy who has snuck into the four walls of the church and this is about to stop says the lord I am coming to tear down all of that. I am coming to show who I am. I have already begun. These leaders that have caused you to stumble and to stumble and that have caused all this strife, robbed and deceived my children will be turned over to the wolves as this is what they are. Enough is enough. I will not tolerate this any longer, says the Lord. So I say again, as I've said before, repent and turn from your wicked ways, O oh, you leaders, you wolves who are feeding and preying on my children, chewing them up and spitting them out as if they are a rotten piece of meat. Turn now before it's too late, as I am coming to turn your tables in a way never seen before, says the Lord. As for you, my children, who are lacking in discretion of your words, I command you to stop now, as this will have a harvest you do not want. For it is written, what you sow, what is sown, therefore also you shall reap, says the Lord of hosts. It's time to awaken and rise up, my children. Rise up against all your adversary is trying to do to you he is the author of confusion and is out to get each one of you to get you to fall into his trap of lies 
There will be consequences up ahead for those that continue to slander my chosen people speaking for me in this hour. Yes, my anointed whom I have called to speak my words, says the Lord. There will also be consequences for those who have not been anointed to speak my words, whom are claiming they are of me. Woe to you, I say, woe to those who are not called by my name, claiming to be a prophet of Almighty God. Repent, says the Lord, and turn away from this now. I say it again, repent, says the Lord, and that's in bold. My children, you are entering a time when you will need each other more than ever. So come together now. Put away your selfish ways and differences and battle together against your enemy and not against each other. Pray for one another and lift each other up. No more tearing down with your words, says the Lord. This happened to Stephen in the book of Acts. Learn from this story, children. It is the same thing. Listen. This is designed by your enemy, Satan, who is getting you to fight against each other, against each other. Stop it now. Stop it now. Things are about to get interesting and very uncomfortable for many. If you stay in me, you shall find peace. If you are caught up bickering and slaying my anointed and, and appointed, watch out. Yes, I am a righteous judge as well as a loving father. So this is your warning. This is your warning, says the Lord of hosts. Come to me and ask for help if you need help in this area. I am here to deliver you out of it all. But you must come and ask you must come and ask, and there I will be, says the Lord. Knock, 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 and my door will open to you with the abundance of my grace and mercy. Come to me, children, and find your rest. Don't fear what is upon you as the tide has turned and the waters are rising. This is a good thing if you are ready. Prepare yourselves. Get your hearts right before me, says the Lord of hosts. New Zealand, hold on to your bridges. Hold on tight. There is a great shaking. There is a great shaking coming. Do not fear this shaking. Come, come and find your peace in me. I am your shelter from it all. No, 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 no. That's five no's. China, you will not have your way. No, 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 Iran, you will not have your way. No, 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 you the who, you the WF, you, um, uh, you the NW, the den, sorry, you the NWO, you shall not have your way. My hand is moving and moving against each one of you, says the Lord of hosts. Get ready for your complete destruction. I am coming for you, says the great I am. Prepare for this, my children, as it will get bumpy. It is time to end their plans once and for all, says the Lord. As this time approaches, my children, get yourselves, your families, your houses, your hearts, and your minds prepared and close to me. Now is the time to prepare for this. Don't wait. Prepare now, says the Lord. This is all in bold, this whole paragraph. Do not fear a word spoken, for I am your God, and I will protect you. You must prepare your hearts for these coming events and changes getting ready to take place. Know I am with you. I will never leave you, nor forsake you, for I love my children. It does not mean that you won't be affected by these changes, but if you are close to me and in my presence, you will be filled up with my peace. Yes, my peace that covers all fears. Get with me now and learn where and how to find my peace, says the Lord. There is no time to waste. I say it again, no time to waste. Changes are coming quickly as I destroy your enemies before they destroy you. I'm coming to tear all their plans into pieces. So rejoice, 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 and hold on tight to me as I come to set you completely free. Get ready, my children. Your victory is your victory 
is on the horizon. This is all in bold. Your victory is on the horizon. And I mean nothing or no one can or will stop me from what I am. From what I, the great I am, is about to do for you, says the Lord, your God, maker of heaven and earth. In the name of my son, Yeshua, the king of kings and the Lord of lords, the one who was, who is, and is to come. Amen, amen, and amen. The Lord has spoken. And so, um, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is the word that I received. Um in three parts um, back in the beginning of this year and um, he brought it up he he caught my attention this morning he told me you'll know when to release it and so um, there is a lot in it um, he he there's a lot in it and I do want to say that New Zealand after I released this the first time New Zealand had a large earthquake um, back in I don't know it was shortly after I, re I released this word. There was an earthquake in New Zealand. It may have been, I don't know if it was like a month later or within a few weeks. I don't remember. But there was an earthquake in New Zealand. So um, I don't know if that's what he was talking about. I don't know. I But I do want to say that, that I do remember um, that they did have an earthquake after I released this word. Hallelujah. So that's kind of like a prophecy fulfilled. Praise God. So, um anyway yeah there's a lot in here um i'm gonna start reading scripture um really quick and i'm gonna start in uh first corinthians chapter 13 and verse one and i think i'm just gonna read the whole uh, no i'm not gonna read the whole chapter i'm gonna start in verse one if i had the gift of being to if i had the gift of being able to speak in other languages without learning them and could speak in every language there is an all of heaven and earth, but didn't ha but didn't love others. I would only be making noise. If I had the gift of prophecy and knew all about what is going to happen in the future, knew everything about everything, but didn't love others, what good would it do? Even if I had the gift of faith so that I could speak to a mountain and make it move, I still would be worth nothing at all without love. If I gave everything I have to the poor, if I gave everything I have to poor people and if I were burned alive for preaching the gospel but didn't love others, it would be of no value whatever. Love is very patient. This is um, in verse 4. Love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud, never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way. It is not irritable or touchy. It does not hold grudges and will hardly even notice when others do it wrong. It is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. If you love someone, you will be loyal to him no matter what the cost. You will always believe in him, always expect the best of him, and always stand your ground in defending him. Um, hallelujah. So I'm going to stop there and then I'm going to move over to uh, 13 and 13. And it says, um, there are three things that remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. And then 14, one says, let love be your greatest aim. Nevertheless, also ask also for the special, the special abilities of the Holy, that the Holy Spirit gives, and especially the gift of prophecy, being able to preach the message of God. So hallelujah. He's saying to us right now, we need to come together, stop the bickering, stop the, the talking crud against one another. And um, I see it all the time because people are constantly, you know, saying things in comments and stuff and that aren't so nice. And, you know, I just like, whatever. If it's really rude, I just delete it. And I'm just like, you know. And then I can't, they, they can't comment anymore, period, because this is God's channel. We're not going to have that. So I just basically just, sorry, you can't comment anymore if you can't say nice things. That's just how it goes on this channel. And that's just the way it is. Um, that's what the Lord told me to do. So praise God. But we need to have love for one another regardless. And it's not, you know, I mean, I'm talking even our unsaved loved ones. 
that, you know, think we're crazy, cuckoo crazy, how do we get them to turn? By showing them love, by showing them the God's character, the Lord's character. That's how, that's how we do it. And so just, um, just know that he's like, he brought it back up and we got to stop. It has to change. And like I said, it's not for everybody. Cause like, I know that not all of us are in this, you know, um, in this place, but the Lord wanted me to re-release it. Um, and so, and this is a warning to those who are coming against his, his voices. This is a warning to those who are claiming to be his voices who are not. And whether they see it or not, it doesn't matter. It's in the atmosphere. And that's what prophecy is. It's, it's out there. It's out there. And so, um, that's what prophecy is. That's why he's having me re-release words just to bring it back up and, and to get it out there again. Um, he's warning Iran. He's warning China. He's warning the WHO, the WHO, the WEF, um, the NWO, the New World Order, those people that are trying to, to start that. Um, the WF is the World Economic Forum. The WHO is the is the World Horth Organization. Just so you guys are, are, are know who the, who those um, organizations are, so those are three that he's actually he's warning and saying no, um, and that he's about to tear down all their plans. Hallelujah! And um, he's also just giving us a warning as to what's up ahead that it's going to get bumpy and to prepare now and to um, not to wait and there's no time to wait and the number one thing that we prepare and how we prepare is to get with him and to know um to know him and to he's saying we got to know where to find his peace and his presence and that's just spending time with him going into your secret place and worshiping i'm telling you i say it I, and I'll say it again and I'll say it again worship is where it's just it's it's almost just I don't know automatic it's like the presence of God will come when we're in worship and like I said before it doesn't always mean you have to sing a song but singing songs in worship and worshiping through music and you know it's even says that in the, in the word to worship um with music excuse me um but anyway worship 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 praise i'm telling you when you praise him he is there he is there and um, when i watched the the last time i released this word i there was a story that i told and i have to tell it again because you know you know i because i just have to but there was, um, you know, because he's talking about getting in his presence and finding his presence and his peace. And I was going through something. This was, a, you know, back at the beginning of the year. I was going through something and I and I was having a hard time. Just, just, I, I was struggling. And, and, um, and what I said in the story, <laughs> back in January, I'm going to tell you the story again. Because um, I do remember this. And I was just struggling. And I remember my husband saying, what's wrong with you? Are you in a bad mood? Or what's, what's wrong? You, you know? what's going on with you? And I was just like, he's like, are you in a bad mood? I'm like, no. And he's like, do you want to be in a bad mood? It's his famous lines. Do you want to be in a bad mood? No. He's always teasing me I'm like, no. And I just said, I knew I had to go spend time with the Lord. And I knew that I was on a funk. I was like in a funk. And I was like, I need to go get, I need to go just spend some time with the Lord. And um, this was back when my husband was, was, was home too. He was off for the season, which he's going to be off again soon, like three more weeks. And then I'll probably be back in my car again doing words because um, he'll be off for a couple months again like he did last year. It's a seasonal thing that he, you know, he's he's inspecting power power lines. And so it, it he might be out for a month or two months or perfectly not longer than that. But, <laughs> but anyway, not that I don't love my husband, but just saying, um, you know, but anyway, so I just remember going back there and I just cried and I do remember this like but I but watching this video it just brought it back, back all up and I was just like oh my gosh I remember that and it, it was so special because because I went 
back there and I cried and I was like, Lord, I need you. I need your presence. I need just, I just need to, and I said, I, you can go back and watch the video. It's actually a very powerful video because I was, I was, I could feel the anointing. Um, I could just feel like the anointing and, and, um, and actually sang a song. I think I didn't watch that part, but <laughs> I didn't watch it all. I just went to the word, but, um, just saying I didn't watch it all. I watched the very end. But um, apparently I sang a song too <laughs> in the beginning. But, um, and I think I released the word, it was in January, I think January 20, 24th, I think I released it, January 24th, January, January 24th. But anyway, I went back and I, and I just said, daddy, 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 I need your presence. And I cried and I was just like, I just need you. I just need to fill you. I just need, I just need your, I need you right now. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me and I can feel his presence right now as I say that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> but, um, so, and he just showed up. It was just like that. It was just like that. I just, I just need you. I need to feel your presence. I need to feel your presence. And his presence just showed up. It just showed up. And then a peace came over me and I just, and it was just, you know, and I remember it was amazing. And that's, you know, that is what we need to do and and just know that he will show up he will show up and um but worship worship you know if you don't regularly feel his presence and and you're seeking that first and foremost ask him open your heart up and say lord father daddy come to him as a little child that's what jesus said that's what that's what the Lord said. He said, come as a child, you know, humble yourself to, to just nothing and come to him as a little child and, and just ask him and say, Lord, I want to feel your presence and just praise him and worship him for who he, and just love on him. You know, there's, when, when all this, when I started just feeling his presence and everything, I literally would just Sometimes I didn't say anything at all. And I would just go in there and I would just, you know, when I say go in there, it's like back there in my room, you know, cause I live in a bus. If you're, you know, it's like I, and, and there's only one room back there when it's just with my husband's home and, and, um, you know, when we sold our house and we got in here, we did, we had a, we had a five bedroom house that we sold and I had lots of rooms, but I wasn't, it, it, it wasn't like, I mean, that's when I started first hearing, you know, that's where the Lord f first started talking to me and where I could hear his voice and I knew it was him, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> and, and, um, but he brought me here into this small bus, which her name is glory girl. A lot of you that follow me, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm sharing these things for people that, you know, that might come in new, um, new, new people that hear this, this word, but, um, you know, and, and I didn't, you know, I had plenty of rooms. I could have, you know, I had my office. <clears throat> so I had a five bedroom house and an office. But the Lord said, sell it. Told my husband. He didn't know it was the Lord, but I knew. Because I asked the Lord afterwards. I was like, was that you? Is this you? Are you sure we're supposed to sell this house? Are you sure? You know, and he said, yes, it is It is me. And I'm going to blow you away with what I do. I'm going to blow your mind. I remember exactly where I was, standing in my bathroom, putting on my makeup, getting ready for work that day, I think. And he says, and I'm going to blow your mind what I do with you and what, what I'm about to do is going to blow your mind. And I was like, okay, okay. And I just was like, okay. And I knew it was him. I knew it was him. And then, and then he has, because I get into the glory girl and then he starts filling me with his glory. And then I start releasing words. I had, this was none of this was none of this. It had to happen in this bus. Like you know, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, but it did like, this is where it all started. This is where the glory came. This is where, you know, in this bus. And so, um, anyway, so I, you know, I just literally, I just got sidetracked, got a little bit off there, but, but when you worship the Lord, you just open up your heart and you just, you just give him your heart and you just tell him how much you love him and how much you thank him. Even if you're going through trials and tribulations, do you think it was easy selling that house and coming in this bus and being so close to my husband? <laughs> like, you know, cause he didn't work for almost a year. 
He didn't get a job for after. So we were in this bus for a year before together 24 7 24 7 and i was like in this little tiny space this little teeny tiny space and after going from a five bedroom house <laughs> with all that space and coming in here for a year you know and um just the whole ch all the changes that were going on the sobriety that came hallelujah you know um there was just so much. There was so much going on. So much. And it was hard. It was hard. It was. And sometimes, I mean, there was a, I went into an oppression, like a depression in the beginning. I don't think I've ever shared that. But when we moved here, we were, we were like in the same city because the hall, the, the, uh, my husband's hall was he's a lineman journeyman lineman and so it was in the same city as my sister and i was just like oh my gosh i'm gonna be close to my sister hallelujah like you know moving from washington selling the house and coming to california and 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 being close to my sister you know who's you know we're 15 months apart she's my best friend and so i was like oh my gosh it's gonna be great and so we were there for a couple months and then he got the job and then they moved us like three hours away and i was like oh my gosh and i didn't know what to do i was i was just like I felt alone in this bus in the middle of nowhere and all alone and I just felt alone he was gone all day and I, but I wasn't and that's where all this was born my ministry was in that time in that place when I was all alone and I didn't have anybody and it was just me and God that's where he pushed me and pushed me and pushed me and pushed me to start this ministry and I fought him. I did. I was like, there's no way I could do this. No way. You're literally, I was like, Lord, you're off your rocker. Um, I don't know if you know who I am, but uh, that's never going to work. <laughs> like, that's not me. No way. You know, and, but those of you that heard my story, you've, I've, I've said it before, but an earthquake came and it hit at 959 and he was telling me to release the word shake, rattle and roll. And I was like, you know, that was the first word he wanted me to release because I had words that he had given me and he wanted me to share them. And I was just like, no, I don't want to share them. You know, I was just starting to hear his voice. You know, well, it's been a couple years or a year and a half or whatever, but a couple years where he was giving me words. And then he asked me to release them and share them. And I was like, uh-uh, no way. I was scared to death. And like the first, like, I don't know, probably 10 videos I did, I'd literally like almost cry. I would like cry because I was scared to death because this is like something that I was like no way this is no way but here I am now and it's like and you guys like your comments are just like you encourage me so much and it was like you know that you guys say that I bless you and it's just like that and, and I cry when I hear your comments sometimes it's just like I do I literally cry and I'm just like if I wasn't obedient if I didn't if I didn't listen then I wouldn't be here encouraging you. Thank you, Lord. I feel his presence. <laughs> but he knew what I needed. And he knew what you needed. And sometimes it's like, I still am just in awe that he would use me. to bless you and to love you you know because I do I love you all so much I just happen to have a tissue are you kidding like I never have tissues over here that's because I was crying before I did the video because I was in worship <laughs> it was just I was filled with the Holy Ghost his presence was on me really really well it still is obviously because these are Holy Spirit tears because it's just like I'm overwhelmed with his awesomeness and his you know I'm in awe that he would let me use me you know to share words with you to encourage you I mean I'm just a pooter pants <laughs> that's what I always tell the Lord I'm like Lord I just can't I'm still in awe, like even a year and a half later, 
you know, that I've been on here now. And it's like, I still am blown away and in awe that he would use somebody like me. Somebody so messed up as me. And so, you know, but I've learned who I am. That's the thing. Like that word yesterday that I released, he needs us to know who we are in him through Jesus, through what Jesus did on that cross for us. It wasn't for nothing. And there's another word that, that I, that, that I have, um, recently come across where it's like, he didn't do it for nothing. He didn't do it for nothing. He did it for us so that we could come to the father so that we would have that door. He, he opened the door for us to come directly to God, our father, our creator who loves us so much. Even if we are little messed up, we need to know who we are and don't let the enemy lie to you. Don't let him lie to you and steal that. You come as you are to him. He needs us to know this so that we can be filled up with his presence. So just come as you are. Come as you are. Like I said yesterday, I, I had to walk through it. I mean, and if it's just so that I can show you guys that somebody as messed up as me can be filled up with his presence and his glory on an instant, at an instant, I can just say, Lord, I want to be filled with your presence. He's no respecter of persons. He doesn't, I, like, for crying out loud, like I say, like I've said, I'm, I'm, you know, I still go through it. I'm still, I'm still, he's still bringing me from glory to glory to glory. He's, that'll always be till, till the day that we die. Till the day that we die, till the day we go home, to the day that Jesus comes back to get us, you know, to the day that we're in heaven with him. We always are growing and growing. He's bringing us, you know, and there's, there's, you've never reached, you know, you will always grow. We'll always grow. And there's things that he's still working on me that he's, you know, junk that has to go. But, it, and, and, and he is. And that's the thing. It's like every day. It's every day. But we just come as we are. And just stay humble before him. Come to him. And let and love on him. And let him love on you. And let him love on you. And his love will transform you. And so I know because I'm living it. I've lived it. I've walked it. Like I said yesterday, and I've said in my, in, you know, I was three months sober after a lifelong of addiction when he asked me to start this. And that's why I fought him so much because I was just like, who am I? Like, why would you ask me to do this? Like, like, no way. Like, I am filthy. Like, I just felt like a filthy, dirty, you know, like, I just, I just literally, like, am learning how to stay sober. And I, and what if I drink again? What if I, you know, have a bad day and, and, and the devil gets in my head and I go drink? You know, and like I said, I, you know, I don't know if I said it yesterday. Maybe I did. I don't, I don't know because I haven't watched the video. I don't know what I said yesterday. I have no idea what, what I said. <laughs> but... What if this, what if getting before you guys and sharing and encouraging these, because these are encouraging words. These, they're all about that. That's what I'm, I'm called to do now. That, now I know this and, and, and all my life, I've really encouraged people. Even, even when I was in my addiction and partying and doing stuff, it was like, I was encouraging people because I still had, you know, I mean, I just, I don't know, but anyway, maybe this saved my life. Maybe this was what, you know, only God knows and I'll never know until, you know, I mean, unless he reveals it to me, but maybe this, maybe he's revealing it to me now that this is what's kept me sober. You know, I don't know. My husband's sober too and he's not doing it. So <laughs> just saying, you know, but 
I don't know. I'm just saying that don't let the enemy. We have to be able to get in God's presence right now. It is crucial. And you know how the enemy will keep you out of his presence? By making you think you're not worthy to be in his presence. That you're not worthy to receive his presence. You're not worthy to receive the peace in your mind. That's a lie from Satan. That's a lie. So don't let him do it. Don't let him do that to you any longer. We have to be able with the time that is coming. It's we're it's now. We're it's like we're entering into the time that the Lord has warned us and warned us and warned us about. And he's like, you have to be able to find me. You know, you have to be able to find me. And I'm telling you, I can find him. I can find him. And I'm no, I, he, you know, I, I'm nothing special. That's for sure. I'm nothing special. Like, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm a daughter of the king, just like you. You're a son and a daughter of the king of kings. You're a child of God. You can do it too. But you ask him. Ask him. You have not because you ask not. You you have to spend the time, you know, honor him, glorify him for who he is and and, and just who he is. Just not, not for anything that, not for all the blessings and things that he blesses us with, like on a, you know, like, I mean, of course, at, honor him for that too you know praise him for all your blessings and for your you know for everything but just because of who he is that's what I'm talking about just you know we need to love on him on a daily basis even when we're struggling that's what that was what I was trying to say I always get sidetracked I'm sorry guys I always go like all over the place because I do I get excited and I just my brain goes Woo <laughs> it goes everywhere but in the hard times praise him when it's a sacrifice Praise him when it's a sacrifice, when it's, when it's hard, when you're going through it, when times are tough. That's when we worship and we praise him. And that's when you'll see something. You'll, you'll, it'll just, because he honors that. But it's not just, and just like he said in the word yesterday, praise me even when you don't feel like it. When you don't feel like it, praise me. I just came back. Sometimes I don't remember what, what words, you know, but hallelujah. So I hope that this encourages you guys today. Um, you know, I share these things and, and my testimony and who I am and what I've had to walk through and continue to walk through. You know, I have a lot going on in my life that I don't share, you know, because the Lord, because it's not time. It's not time to share these things, you know, and one day there, they will be one day. They will be a testimony and one day I will share them, but I can't share them now. But I walk, I have stuff that I am facing in my own life, you know, stuff that's hard and, and hurtful and, and just things that are, that are, um, painful to watch and see, you know, and I have a prodigal. You know, I have a prodigal and I have, you know, I have, um, just stuff. There's stuff and it's hard, but I trust God and I have to, I have to just say, no, I'm not going to let that, you know, I'm not going to let that bring me down and I'm not going to let it steal my joy. I'm not going to let it steal my peace. Of course there's bad days and hard days. But that's when you go and you pray and you're like, I need you right now. I need your help. I need your grace for today, your mercy for today to get me through today because I'm struggling today. It's hard today. Today is hard. Acknowledge him. Ask him for his grace. You, you know, tell him what his word says. His word says, I get my sufficient my grace is sufficient for today. My grace is sufficient enough for today or today. I don't know. I don't want to quote it. And I don't know where it's at. So, but I mean, I, well, I'm quoting it, but because I don't know where it is. I just know that it's there. Like, <laughs> I don't know the addresses. You guys know this. I don't know the addresses. Not all of them. 
I wish I did, and maybe one day I will. I, sh I should stop saying I don't. Um, one day I'll know all the addresses. There we go. Um, in Jesus' name. But His grace is sufficient and is sufficient for today. He gives us enough grace, or whatever. I don't know how. You guys probably know it. If not, you can Google it. <laughs> It'll pop up right away. But yeah, so just. I know there was more scripture, so I'm gonna read it really quick but just hallelujah God is so good he just is he really really is and um, I excuse me I read I wrote down right here he told me to read um, chapters Revelation chapters 3 and 3 through 6 so I did um, when um, after I received this word so I'm going to, and I have some, some scriptures written down. So, um, Revelation 3, 1 through 3 says, This message is sent to you by the one who has the sevenfold spirit of God and the seven stars. I know your reputation as I live and act, and active church, but you are dead. Now wake up. Strengthen what little remains, for even what is left is at the point of death. Your deeds are far from right in the sight of God. Go back to what you heard and believed at first. Hold to it firmly and turn to me again. Unless you do, I will come suddenly upon you, unexpected as a thief, and punish you. And so he's saying, come back to your first love. And come back and and, and just, you know, um, he's saying the body's a little bit messy right now as we're beating each other up. This church is kind of messy. You know, we're not showing a whole lot of love. Not all of us, like I said, you know. Um, but he's saying, this is his word. Come back to your first love. And um, and show love. And three, 320 and 21, I wrote these down like a, like a long time ago. 2021 Look, I am I have been standing at the door and I am constantly knocking. If anyone hears me calling him and opens the door, I will come in and fellowship with him and he with me. I will let everyone who conquers sit by sit beside me on my throne just as I took my place with my father on his throne when I had conquered. Let those who can hear Listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. That was um, 3 and, and 20 through 22. Yeah. And then Revelation 4, 8 says, um, And each one of these living beings had six wings and the central... And the central sections of their wings were covered with eyes. Day after day and night after night, they kept on saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, the one who was and is and is to come. Hallelujah. And that's how he ended this word, which is, which, you know, um, is usually, he doesn't really end his words like that with me. He's, you know, he's, he always ends them the same. And so that, uh, he ended it differently. And he actually said that at the end of this word. And so, hallelujah. Um, I, he, see, you can't put him in a box. And he says that in this word, don't box me up. I'll do it and say it how I want and with whom I want. And um, hallelujah. So yeah, he actually did. I just, that just tripped me out right now. <laughs> like I just said that because yeah, he usually doesn't end it like that. But he did. And it just, that's the Holy Spirit. It's like, yeah, don't box me up. Because like, Totally. And then Nahum, that is so funny. I just happened to open and go to Nahum and it's Nahum 1 and I I went from Revelation all the way back there. I grabbed in the middle. I don't have any stickies or anything. There's no stickies right there on Nahum. I promise you. And I just opened it and flipped it to Nahum 1. My hand was in the exact spot where it would be. That's just, once again, see these are things that you have to see shows up and he says, if you search for me, if you look for me, you'll find me. And it's just little things like that. Like, that's not a coincidence. Come on. 
it's not a coincidence that's him and so these little things that you have to notice yeah like even those little like something so small we have to pay attention and he's like see i just did that for you so you didn't have to search hallelujah thank you daddy thank you daddy see nahum one seven through eight <laughs> hallelujah i don't know why i'm always doing that just i don't know just thought i'd share that i don't know why i do that but anyway seven through eight the lord is good when trouble comes he is, he is the place to go, and he knows everyone who trusts in him. But he sweeps away his enemies with an overwhelming flood. He pursues them night, all night long. Um, and that was it. Yeah, that was it. So the Lord is good when troubles come. He is the place to go. So for us, he's the place to go. Hallelujah. And he knows everyone who trusts in him. But he sweeps away his enemies. Which he's about to go. Whoop. Bye bye. Bye bye. But he sweeps away the, his enemies with an overwhelming flood. He pursues them all night long. He's not up there just sitting on his throne. You know just watching all this crazy chaos and stuff go on. He's doing stuff. He's doing stuff. And we are about to see him move in the mightiest way that we've ever seen that's ever happened in the history of the world. He has said this time and time again. I'm about to come and, and, and pour out my glory on this earth like never before. I actually, um, I think it was right here. Um, I had a vision. Maybe, I don't know. I had a vision. And, um, and it caught my attention when as I was going through this this morning. Um, I thought it was like right close to this word, but apparently not. But anyway, and I've shared it before, but it was a while back and it was, I had a vision of, of a train, a cargo train. And it was just, I was in the glory, you know, and I was just with the Lord. This was, I don't even know. See, I can't even tell you when it was, but it was a while back. But, um, and so it, I saw this vision of this train and the Lord, I just read it this morning. I wish I had it right in here. I, I don't know where it was in this book, but in this journal of mine. Wouldn't that be funny if I just turned to it? <laughs> like I did to Nahum. <laughs> oh, shoot the boot. I wish I could say, cause I, you know how I write these things down. But anyway, so, so yeah, so uh, it was the glory train. And he said, he said that the cargo, he said, do you see the train? Do you see it's coming? That's what he said in and you know while I was seeing the vision he spoke and he said do you see the do you see the train it's coming and it's coming through every city every town every city or, or he said every street it's coming down every street and every city and every state and in every nation is what he said and he said and the cargo is my glory and that's what he said the cargo is my glory it's coming down every street and every so just get ready for a glory that we've never felt before but and but the thing is is that we can receive that glory now like the glory it's it's here it's now it's we can tap into it it's here it's now and i mean i it, we can tap into it and so but you have to believe you can that's the thing it's like it's faith it's like you have to expect it you have to ex and that's and that's what i would tell them i would when i first started feeling the glory and receiving the, and and getting into his presence i would just go expectant it was like, I learned who I was as a child of God. I've learned, you know, it's just like, no, I expect it. I want it. I ask for it. And I expect it. Your word says you have not because you ask not. And so I would go in and I would, literally, I just go to him and say, no, I expect it. You say you have not because you ask not. So I'm asking for you to pour out your glory on me. I'm asking for it. And I expect it to, I expect you to do it because that's what your word says. And that you'll pour your glory out on us. And I want it. I want to feel your presence. You said that I can feel your presence. I want your presence, Dad. I want your presence, Father. In Jesus' name. And so fill me with your presence. And fill me up to the fullest. I want to be filled with your glory. And and expect it. And faith. You have to grab it by faith. And then, and then that's how he moves. Is by faith. I'm telling you. It's just like the most glorious thing. And if he would, if he'll fill me up with his presence and his glory, he'll fill you up with his presence and his glory. 
you just have to expect it. Ask him for it. Expect it. Come as you are. Know your, know who you are as a child of God. Know who you are as a child of God. Know who you are as a child of God. Don't let the enemy lie to you any longer. Don't let him steal that from you. We have to know who we are in this hour. Right now, we have to know. Just like the Lord said in this word, he said, he says, um, as this time approaches, my children, get yourselves, your families, your houses, your hearts, your minds prepared and close to me. Now is the time to prepare for this. Don't wait. Prepare now, says the Lord. He says, do not fear it. Um, do not fear the changes and the events that are going to take place. He'll never leave us in Norton and he's not going to forsake us. He's He always reminds us of that almost in every word. He says, um, Yes, my peace that covers all fears. He he get in his presence and his peace will he will fill you with his peace that covers all fears. Um and he says, learn where to find my peace. Learn where and how to find my peace, says the Lord. And uh he says, Rejoice. We need to be praising him, rejoicing. No matter how it looks, no matter what is going on, we praise him and rejoice, rejoice, we shout. And um, he's, he's saying to shout our victory, regardless of how it looks, we shout our victory and the enemy's defeat in the name of Jesus. We join arms with our brothers and sisters, quit beating each other up in Jesus' name with our words um, and lift each other up in the name of Jesus. And, you know, regardless of what's going on, it's, we have to stay together. We have to be united this division that the enemy has caused in the body is absolutely disgusting and we have to realize that he's doing it and what did the lord say he said that he's um he's he's laughing he's laughing at us because we're falling for his crud no we have to stand up and and laugh at him and fight him and laugh at him and say nope not any longer it's not going to happen anymore in jesus name and laugh at him and so that's all I have today, you guys. I love you. It's so good to be back again. Like this is the third, like, you know, the third video this week. Like what? <laughs> like what? Um, I know that they're a little bit longer, but I'm just going with the flow. Um, that's one thing that I, I'll never forget that the Lord told me back in my house in, in Washington. Um, it was this, it was about the same time that he said, I'm going to, you're going to, I'm going to blow your mind. He told me to go with the flow. And he reminds me of this often, and and I and I literally I just I and I say it. I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm just going to go with the flow with him, with him, um, go with the flow. And so, um, so that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm going with the flow and letting the Holy Spirit say what He wants to say. And um, you know, I pray um, before I get on here. I spend time. And um, in his presence and spend time in prayer and praying in the spirit and just and worship, worshiping him. And I just tell him to have his way. And so, you know, so he's having his way. I'm letting him have his way. So I love you guys so much. Jesus loves you. And just know that I, I, I adore you. Like, I just adore all of you, each and every one of you. I just, I love you guys so much. And I pray for you every single day day every single day sometimes several times a day i will just stop and lift you guys up and just pray i love to talk to god that's what i do i talk to him all day throughout my day i don't care what i'm doing i don't care where i'm at i'm talking to the lord sometimes i don't know what i'm saying because i'm praying in the spirit like i'm just always in communication with god because i love to talk to him i love talking to the lord like that is like it's what I do. You know, I just love talking to God. So I talk to him about you guys. <laughs> I do. I tell him, bless, bless, bless your, your children and bless my brothers and sisters, you know, and protect them and, and heal their bodies and, and their minds and bring them peace and joy, you know, and pour your glory out on them. And so just, I know that we live in a, in a fallen world and sometimes it's hard but just know that he's so close 
He is, and he'll never leave us and never forsake us, and he cares about everything we're going through, you know, everything. And even when we're having our bad days, if we just go, like I, like, like I said, and you know, if we just go and call on him and say, I need you, I need your presence just to come and consume me right now. So I, so I could just feel you close because I'm really having a caca moment, a pooter pants moment, you know, and I need you to fill me up and he will, he will. Okay. I love you guys in Jesus name. Um, who knows when I'll be back? Maybe tomorrow, maybe not. I don't know. Um, there's so many words that he wants me to share again. And who knows? Maybe he'll give me a new word. Um, we'll see. But um, I know that there's several words that he wants me to get on here and share. And um, I know that he he wants them out like soon. So I might be back tomorrow. Um, and so I love you guys. Have a super blessed day. And um not going to promise you'll be back tomorrow because because <laughs> I don't know. We'll just see. I'm going with the flow in Jesus name. So, um, but I love you and um, Jesus loves you so, so much. And just know that um, you're never alone. He's with you right where you are and you can tap into him and his presence. He's there with you right now. He's there with you right now in Jesus name. Okay. I love you. Have a blessed day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.